Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put symbols in your clan tag. We made a video pretty recently about changing your clan tag color and it would then change the color of your username. Since then, I believe Affinity War has deployed a patch to where that you can still do the colors, but when you're in game, it doesn't show your clan tag and it does not show your colored username but it will show a colored bracket. So even if you have text in there, it will only show the colored bracket. That's basically their quick fix so people aren't abusing the clan tags. Now in pregame lobbies, I have seen symbols appearing. I've been seeing the Cobb Point logo a lot. I've been seeing a bunch of different symbols. So it seems like that is working in pregame lobby, but it's not working in game. So you can show these off for a little bit until it is patched, but we're gonna go through every single symbol in this video here today. It's gonna be a long ass video because there's a shit ton of symbols that you can use and I will have the entire list in the description down below. Make sure you're dropping that like and subscribing, guys. Let's hop into this one. All right, here we go. There is the left stick. Now, this is going to take me a bit. Like I said, I am copy and pasting all the codes in. So there's right stick. That's left stick again. So there's a bunch of different values for left and right stick. All right, let's move to the next one. Oh, that's pretty cool. The arrow. Apparently, this next one's going to be D pad. Pretty sick. Reminds me of the good old days, man. We were always fucking with our clan tags for clans and all that shit. So that's a plus. The next one's going to be a minus. There you go. Your favorite's probably going to be the Cobb Point logo. If you guys, uh, you know, are content creators or anything. You can use the green check mark. It's pretty cool. Kind of like a verification in a way. Next one is lock. Check that one out. Oh, it's literally a lock. The skull. That one's pretty sick. This next one is the Cod Point logo. It looks very good. Very vibrant. There it is. I can definitely see why that's some people's favorites. Up arrow. Down arrow. Now we're going left. Then right. Now apparently these are going to be mouse buttons coming up. That one's not working, so we're going to... Go to the mouse wheel and see if mouse wheel works. Mouse wheel does not work. So maybe the mouse ones aren't working. What if we just do a regular mouse? That should work. I've seen, you know, it's in the regular menu UI. It doesn't work. All right. Anything mouse related does not work. Activated mic. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Next one's ammo. That's ammo. That You know what that is? That's a trials ticket right there. I know it says ammo, but that is a trials ticket. So I wonder if we're getting trials back or if it's just copy and paste from Modern Warfare 2019. Orange caution. That is a crosshair. This next one is apparently a skull with the lightning. Can't really see it that well. Next one is an unlock. There you go. We're actually almost done here. One's a square with an X through it. There's some really cool ones at the end. That one was just a regular square. Next one is an arrow circle. This next one is a noob tube. Check this one out. Look at that. It's literally a grenade launcher. That's super sick. Next one's really similar. We have the underbarrel shotgun. Then we have the scroll wheel. Now this is not not showing up. Part of the mouse screen. Not showing up. Part of the mouse crew, I guess. It's a great time for me to interject and say, 
Activision reserves the right to do whatever they want with your account. If you're caught doing this in any way online that might affect the gaming experience of another, your account could be at risk. Do everything at your own risk and know that Activision does reserve the right to ban you if they so choose. This video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. Activision, do not hate me. I do not use custom clan tags in game. So let's hop back into it. We have the MW2 key. This is interesting. Ooh, what is that? So that's one of them like special, I, I, I want to call it like a mailbox key, but I, it's not really like a mailbox key. I wonder what that's for. That's really interesting. Next one's a hit marker. Let's check that out. That's sick. So we have the party icon. Sick. Gunsmith icon. Okay. So it's, it's like the armory. Next one is the green chat mark that you saw earlier. Probably my second favorite. I, I still think I'm with everybody else. Cobb point being my favorite one. Yellow arrow in circle. This one is apparently yellow paper. Oh. Oh, so these are like your uh, network stuff. This one is red caution. Now these next ones are really cool. This one is a stealth bomber. Then we have a VTOL jet. That's really sick. And then the last and final one on the list is the Wilson. Which is also pretty damn cool. Uh, if I have to be honest, the kill streaks, the noob tubes, those are really cool. I like the green check mark. And I also, of course, love the cob point symbol. Um, you know. Use these if you want. I gave you the disclaimer. Do whatever you want with them. The entire list will be in the description. You can copy and paste them onto your PC. I'm on Steam right now. It's working fine. And, um, you know, if you're on Xbox, PlayStation, uh, some of these should still work, I believe, because you can, I think you can get the special characters somewhere in your Xbox and PlayStation keyboard, can't you? Uh, at least some of them. I could be wrong on that, but um, I think you can get at least some special characters. You have to check it out. But, you know, if you're on PC, this will this will be no problem for you. So, one other thing you could try as well, just to throw it in there. Not sure if it would work, but you can actually download the Xbox app. I don't know if you can do this for PlayStation or not, but uh, maybe on your phone for PlayStation, because I know there's a PlayStation Messenger. Um, you can basically get the code from the description of this video and send it to your Xbox, like via message, or, you know, maybe create a second account and then send it to your main account, like your main gamer tag, and pull up the Xbox message and... If there's a way that you can copy and paste messages, I'm not sure if you can do that, guys. I'm just trying to give you an idea on how to get the uh, Unicode on your device if you're on PlayStation and or Xbox. So, guys, that's going to do it. Make sure you're dropping a like. And, of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Sponsors and equipment in the description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.